Good afternoon, everyone. This Sunday, many eyes will be focusing on the semi-final of the Rugby World Championship, where South Africa will be facing Japan. But major male sports competitions like this one always raise the question whether it's justified that men a earn significantly more money uh, than women in sports competitions, and b whether it's justified that men get significantly more coverage in media. So. I have decided to invite a few guests to debate this very question. Uh, on this side, um, people will argue that the status quo is okay, um, and this side will argue um, that women should earn more money um, and receive more media coverage. Over to you guys. Good afternoon, opposition team, and of course, our lovely presenter. I'm the first speaker, first speaker of our opposition side. We believe when the two points are laid on this matter, that our men should get more um, media coverage in their sports, and second, youth men should um, earn more because um, of their sport participation. This is because of the following reasons. Firstly, men invest more of their muscular strength when participating in sports than women do. Basically, if there's a boy and there's a girl playing the same sport, the boy actually invests more of his um, muscular strength than the, um, the girl is doing because boys are, 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 are naturally made to be stronger than girls physically and therefore they um, invest more of their energy and work um, into, the, into the sport that they play and because of that they deserve to get more credit for their participation that means they can get more media coverage and more um, of funds or um, wages because of their participation and so, we, wa we want to tell you clearly that women should not um, get more um, wages than men but they should get more but not more than men and secondly why women shouldn't get um, more media coverage is because women's sports are not normally classified as popular sports Basically, if you've got Lionel Messi on the field and you've got um, um, Lankies for rugby in the field, um, you can expect more fans to be in the men's sport than in the female sport. Um, basically, what we're saying that is that netball players or female players are not so popular than men are. And basically, don't you um, think they would be popular if Sport Samando Mazana would be there presented out in the world just as he is Sport mm -hmm. Well, basically, women are not currently um, investing to the economy as much as men do because um, men attract more supporters to be on the field, more supporters to buy tickets to go to the field. Don't you than think women if do. women were exposed, more supporters would be attracted? Well, um, I'm not sure about that. It hasn't happened, but we don't know the future. How are we going to know if it had never happened? Because it has always been men who have dominated the sport um, platform. That is why men get more of everything because they are the ones dominating. That is why. So, we are saying that man, men should get paid more because of their physical strength. But take it, so basically, basically in sport there's a very important aspect that we have to look at and that is teamwork. In sport, normally, uh, not athletics, but let's talk about soccer, mm -hmm. netball and rugby, it's normally teamwork. And basically, it's not only the, the muscular strength that contributes to the sport, it's, all in, it's also the mind. Now you're changing what you said before. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not changing it. However, I'm expanding on it, basically. But women have, have, have always um, been able to be more dominant on the mind than men do. And that can see on the number of matriculants which actually progress to university in South Africa that there are more females which progress um, than, ma that, than males. And this is because that um, normally women are much more dominant by their mental capacity than men. So basically we have to consider many aspects that why do women win against boys at times. However, the point still stands. 
men have got much more muscular strength than women. And when they participate in sport, men put more effort than women do. So why should they get um, the equal or equivalent wages for the same work if the effort is not the same? We, you are the CEO of a company. I am a CEO of, of, a, company, of a company, but we don't actually um, contribute by the same effort. Why should we get the same wages? Why? Amen. What you read? It's not that man and Jala was a little bit into. I'll come back again to you. So let's make an example. When New Zealand and South Africa rugby are playing in Loftus Westfield Stadium, the, sta the stadium will be fully packed. The Bulls will be there. The Blacks will be there. The Whites will be there. No one will miss it for the Pirates. Everyone will be there. And everyone who goes there will pay for tickets. Will pay because we know that that's a popular sport. That is a big match. But if you could mention only one match which is popular on rugby between two high teams, mention one that would get everyone up on their seats and go and watch and pay and contribute to the economy. Mention only just one match. I can even if I can't mention one, but why women take charge? My team, we have proven that why should the government um, um, provide more media coverage for a sport which is not contributing to the econ economy at the end? Sport of men is doing exactly that. What if women are not exactly doing that? Why would the government then ex expose women to, to, to more sport than men? Men are contributing, and that is why media coverage is much more upon them. So exactly from your side you're saying that Abandu Abangu Mama, in the area men's baby room, in the area men's baby lending about a buying about a baby patching a it's just because of your physical strength. Yeah, and we've got an advice for them. Ah, uh -uh, you're so advice is a good ability. The city tile your way now, Uti, in a right young in the end, Zikayo, go with that. If you lend us a mini spot, get it, it packs the city in. Yes. Right. Yes. They earn more wages. Yes. Right. Yes. I would say this and say this and go on and go on and go on again. For example, I'll put more of an example to you again. So basically, um, for, for, for South Africa, we've got Casta Semenya, who is a so-called female and a so-called male at the same time. She gets so much media coverage. <laughs> As they, uh, because when you see when Kastas Menya is, is running in the IAAF league, she she all eyes are on her because we know her. But that is an individual sport. That is the sport which is not so contributing to the economy like when Bafana Bafana go out and play with Nigeria and they win. Relating to Kastas Menya, Kastas Menya, how did my Akali Azi win a band? Because why Thailand or Balaika, the puppy or the puppy? Puppy see, puppy size. Yeah. <laughs> For your matter, South African government hasn't um um uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hasn't neglected women's sport. We could see that varsity football is coming out from girls and boys. We could see that varsity football is coming out from girls and boys. Rugby from girls and it's boys. Athletics from girls and boys. It's not equal. What's not equal? It is equal. It's, have you seen who SABC sport on SABC one in netball, a netball match? Have you seen Iran? Uh, Yamando uh, Mazano, uh, SABC one? No, why? It's just that you are ignorant and not keen to know more about No, it. I'm saying it's not. Like, yeah. Let's not talk about ETS. Like it is, it is not who we do our work for. ETS. Must have a layer about SABC. Layer under the excess of who you are now. It's a rugby, it's a puma, it's a BC. It's a cricket, it's a soccer, it's a young, it's a puma, 
male dominated. Magwela la mando mazani net boy. I pull me back like so gay mando mazani. So if man in the for one second or two seconds, why is that? It is what people are interested on. And even is who said people are interested in men's sports? Then if they were interested, they would have made the government publicize his sports on mando mazani on TV too, just like Esa Madod. And how that who and how we are to do what people want and now if Nina be full nice for the man that's what we are trying to raise by doing this and, and, and we are doing that it's not now, beneficial to the economy and not okay, 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 but but okay, okay, okay. But what if we imagine that the South African government were to actually invest more money into female sports? Wouldn't that actually increase the level at which the female athletes uh, athletes would play and therefore also maybe oh. generate more money? Because currently the male athletes, since they also have more financial resources, are simply at a much higher level. But mm -hmm. if you were to artificially raise that level, wouldn't the women then also receive more media coverage and therefore more money and therefore yeah. be beneficial you. to the economy? Thank you, presenter, for that lovely question. This brings me to my next point. Our opposition has shown clearly that they do not watch TV. On Sundays, yeah. on, yeah. on, on Sundays, <laughs> on Sundays, South African Women's League, SAFA, the one in Casta Semenya is attempting to play for Mamelodi Sundowns girls. We know. You know. Yeah. You know. What more? You know. You know. You know. That's the point. Let's Let's point. Let's Let's point. Let's Let's point. point. Right. So basically, if women also play on Sundays on SAPC one. You said that if they could be published more, yeah, but you you film just for email to religious sports. While anybody is sports, I'm not seeing a lady. Can we fair? Move, 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 and Sundowns, major two big teams in South Africa are playing on Sunday on SABC One as much as women are going to play on SABC One Sunday. He's saying mm -hmm. is that women do get coverage, but it's not much as men. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it's not every time where you see he spots someone who has a nice TV. I mean, like the realistic bra. And I want to emphasize on what my partner said: the government does what the people want. If you women feel disempowered, but somehow weak. Then raise up your hands and go to SAPC. Or put money in the bank for SAPC to bro broadcast women's sports. Stop. With your final statement. Not with the final statement. So, Tina, in the city, Tayo City, Amanda Mazana and Nem Namako and Nemen should get an equal standard of the publicity to the sport. They, they are basically playing the same sport. But Ayoba, Bafit Ganagana and Madota, I think he can have an amount of this got nothing to do. A Kabila and Madota, I at the man and a matter of the Bali, and a man of the Nadiman and a man of the Nibali. So everything should be equal because Pago SABC, most sports, this sport, maybe eighty percent of the sport is in a live with SABC, the male dominated sport. What about Abanda by interested female sport, female sport engine who can't actually afford the STV? From our perspective, the closing statement is we still argue that men should get more media coverage and more wages. You have argued all day trying to tell us why, but you actually in this debate talking about morality, something that is some something that has to be like that, but there is no reason why something has to be like that. That is what you're telling us. You should be telling us that men and women should get um, the same, same um, media coverage because men play with men and women play with, me, with women. And we've told you that what makes the game much more interesting is what causes the fans to come watch the game. And it turns out that men have got that spirit which takes fans out of their homes and come and watch the game, buy tickets on the way to produce something for the government because the stadium owners actually pay tax to the government. Who says that the events as a Padala we will get a female spot? No one said that, but because a but, but, a but because, okay, okay, okay. can you actually see the amount here? But the Mabukele spot is here.
Thank you very much for listening um, and have a nice afternoon here.